Hi guys! Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite dishes, Fettit Magdus. Now, I am having big hair, big belly, it's one of those days, so just bear with me as I'm going to take you through a very, very, very simple recipe with all this. See? So again, you won't have that kind of stuff going on at home because you don't have a camera in your kitchen, but I do. Now, it looks very complicated. It is a bit complicated. <laughs> it's actually not. It's just a lot of stuff going on. It's like us Arabs, we love to put every food group in one dish. Everything, everything. The yogurt, the nuts, the veggie, the, all of it. All of it is in here, but it's so, so good. First things first, aubergines. Baby aubergines or eggplants. I don't know, you guys confuse me. It's eggplant, it's aubergine, I don't know what it is. But my mom says you can only make fatit magdus with baby aubergine. So don't make it with the big ones. Make it with these small ones. See how pretty? Uh. A bit hysterical. <laughs> I feel oil. So just a little bit because aubergines are kind of greasy. Then we toss a little bit, cover, and just keep tossing. So I want to poke them with a fork, and they're supposed to be really, really nice and tender. That's going to take a while. It can take about half an hour. Step two, our meat filling. So we need a little bit of oil, finely chopped onions. So just brown the onions before you put your meat in. So minced lamb. I always put cinnamon in my lamb dishes because it takes away that very, very lamby taste. Salt, pepper. So we're just gonna let this cook until it's done. So usually until the water evaporates. So you just wanna make sure it's cooked through and then we'll add pine nuts. Toasted pine nuts, always use toasted pine nuts. The white ones don't have much flavor. So you know what, I can actually add some now. Okay, so this is done. I'll put this to the side. Now don't forget to just shake around your aubergine. Pan number 17. <laughs> no. A little bit of oil. And then thinly sliced onions. My mum insists on it being that way for this recipe. I've always done it this way, so don't chop them, just thinly sliced. Cook them down until they're translucent and transparent, and then we'll add our tomato sauce bits. So fettit magdus is a very Syrian dish. It's a fette, which is basically, it means to crumble bread. And you have fettit hummus, which is chickpeas, you have uh, fette jaj, which is chicken. You have all types of fettes, and Syrians are very, very well known for that. So um, this is one of the famous Syrian fettes. Diced chopped tomatoes. So I just dropped them in hot water, peeled them, de-seeded, and diced them. Again, I did this before because or else this recipe was gonna be way too long. Tomato paste. So make sure to cook out tomato paste. It has a metallic taste and you don't want it to do that in your mouth. So just always, you know, stir it around in your pan. Make sure to cook it out. And what I actually do is I add a pinch of sugar, salt, a bit of pepper. Let it cook out. Now we can mix this together. Once this is all incorporated, we'll add some water. I'm gonna take these, so I gave them a bit of a fry, and now we're gonna toss them in here. Go. So now, you just wanna make sure that these get nice and soft and that you can poke them with a fork. So cover and simmer. So the other part, or the main part in fette, is yogurt. Now, full fat yogurt, we're gonna 
whisk it to be nice and smooth. Syrians are very, very famous for yogurt dishes that are cold and that are hot. And usually my non-Arab friends don't understand hot yogurt, including the team here. But they shall and they will love it. Well, this one's cold though, so it's easier. A little bit of water, because you don't want it to be too thick. sesame paste. I love sesame paste. Lemon juice, as you can see, I use quite a bit of it. So, all prepared, a little bit more. Whisk away. I find it very therapeutic whisking yogurt. All pregnant women should whisk yogurt. It releases a lot of pregnancy stress. And I don't know if you've noticed that I have a miniature chair here, <laughs> which doesn't look that good. <laughs> to make this even more odd for non-Arabs, we put garlic in our yogurt. A lot of it. <laughs> when, it when it comes down. So garlic. Now, salt and pepper. And the yogurt is ready. That will be put on the side. Almost there. Ooh, good. I am betting that the lovely gentleman behind the camera who doesn't like aubergine is going to like the dish. And I will let you know when I post the video in the comments if he does or if he didn't. And I will be honest about it. But this is really good. If you love aubergines, this is a great, great dish. These are done. Nice and shriveled. The way we like them, that's the way your aubergine is supposed to be. So here, my favorite chip. This is cut up Arabic pita bread, fried in oil in a pan. If you want to be conscious, just put it in the um, oven. But you need to get it nice and crispy like this. Next time I'll show you how to do it, but very simple. So we're gonna start layering it. Now I have two here because I have one vegan. He's vegan. And one carnivorous. We're all carnivores. So, bread. You get a small portion. <laughs> Yogurt. <gasps> oh, sorry. Yes, I'm sure about <laughs> <laughs> So, I put yogurt in the vegan recipe, which obviously wasn't meant to go there. But since I was thinking of all the different layers and there's 57 steps. So, hold on. So this will be... <laughs> this is the vegan version, but since we're out of breath. So since this is not vegan anymore, we get even bigger. <laughs> what I want to do is I'm just going to cut this up, open it. So I'm going to stuff those little slits with our meat mixture. Pine nuts and almonds. So you can do either or, but usually I like a mix of both. Parsley. We will make our nice little vegan plate. I have a lot of respect for vegans. I just don't have the discipline to be a vegan. This is a boring fete. I can't call this fete, by the way. I think I'll be massacred. 
but yay, he has nuts. <laughs> lots of green, lots. <laughs> there we go. And we have a vegan plate. We did not forget about you. This is fette. This is vette. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> try this. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yogurt creamy, meat juicy, mm. crispy bread. Everything is just, you need to try this. See, I can't explain how good this is. You just need to do it. I'm gonna start eating. We're all starving, even the vegan person. <laughs> so, I will see you next time. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>